the combat in the game feels very, very intense. Very personal. It's like closer camera, it's more intimate. You want to feel each concussive strike. Right here! People you're fighting in this world are, are no different from you. They're survivors just like you. They're trying to find anything to get by. We want to make you feel for these enemies. We want to make you hate them, feel sorry for them, be afraid of them. Make you feel kind of bad when you shoot at them. You have to feel that there is that consequence to engaging with these people and that there is something at stake. Your objective's on lining up, so now it's time to kill or be killed. We do have a lot of contextual moves. That's when you know the characters interact with their environment while they're fighting each other. So you slam a guy against a wall, a guy slams you against a wall. <laughs> Grounding of the of the combat in the game world, which kind of makes it a lot more interesting and more real. Nothing really says you're in this environment like having your head slammed against it. Stealth component is a big part of using the environment, like finding intelligent places to hide that give you flank groups. And the AI analyze the space that they're in, and they, they know, like, here's a place to hide that will allow me to flank the player and come around the side he's not looking. The space you're playing in is an extra character, and it's going to change the dynamic of every combat that you play. And then when an encounter happens, we want things to slow down. I'm going to use this thing that we call listen mode. Let's Joel kind of focus his attention, his hearing. I'll check out this area. Go check over there. If a guy's knocking a can over or he's speaking, I'm going to kind of see a visual representation of that sound in front of me. It lets me kind of know where guys are in the world. But that lets us build tension. And that lets me now look at Ellie and see where Ellie's at and kind of approach the situation carefully. AI are helping you and you are helping them and there's a back and forth. For example, Ellie will start doing things like picking up a brick and tossing it at uh, enemies to distract them and to help you out in combat. What we wanted them to do is to have their vocals be an assistance to you in gameplay. Ellie will call out when an enemy is near you and is just starting to gain line of sight on you, she'll say on your left or on your right and try to give you some hints as to where the enemy is. I'm in a jam as Joel, and I'm pinned to the ground by a clicker. Tess might come in and like shoot an infected right off of me, and it's like, cool. I'm relying on them, and they're relying on me, and I feel like I'm working through the space together with them. You might say, they did a bad thing. They killed somebody. They didn't do something that seems fully morally just. Well, you're gonna think that they're bad people unless you, as the player, feel how terribly difficult it is to survive. The pressure is so terrible in this world that you just have to make a choice and live with it. Right now, I'm gonna jump down there and I'm gonna clear us a path. What about me? You reckon you can handle that? Just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me.